let's jump ahead to this experience now that you are having in the workplace. Yes. And you talked about that uh, in our conversation just now as sort of these performance reviews and, and, not, and finding out that you, know, you had to assimilate and th what it meant not to assimilate. Yeah. But what about the everyday experiences? You know, I'm always amazed the, the quote unquote microaggressions. Right. And I would say the only people for whom those are microaggressions are the people who aggress. So I think, I think yes and no, right? I think it depended on the microaggression. Mm -hmm. so in some part because of the rules of Christianity and politeness, mm -hmm. right? And so oh, we'll if get I- get to that in a minute. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. So when I think about um, someone touching my hair, yes. right? Who means to be um, kind and is trying to give a compliment, right? But I am not experiencing this as a compliment. Right. This is an intimate act. Right, right. I don't know you that well. Right. Can we talk about consent? Right? But the rules of Christianity and politeness say that I can't get angry mm -hmm. and that I can't. Right. Right? <laughs> that I must hide my offense. Um, and so, in some ways, I was like, what do I do? You know? And then there were other moments when I thought, nope, I'm not going to give in to the craziness of this moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when a white person mistakes me for the only other black woman in the office, right? right? You talk about the politeness of Christianity that does not allow you to get angry. Right. And I will return to that, but what about the values or the mm -hmm. assumptions or, of, of white culture or yes. of whiteness yes. that doesn't allow you as a black woman to get angry? Oh, it's... It, Whiteness is in many ways so insidious because it expects assimilation, mm -hmm. um, because it's not asking, right? it's not offering a choice, the expectation that is you will desire to be like it. Mm -hmm. And that is so insidious. Um, so I remember, um, I remember one workplace, um, my supervisor telling me how much leadership potential I had. Every, every time I was in her office, you have so much potential. You are just, oh, right? And then the first time I would be like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so glad you recognize my leadership potential, right? And it took me such a long time to realize what she meant was right. not, Austin, I see who you could become, right. but Austin, I see potential for you to be like us. Right, right. I see right. potential for you to teach like us. Right. I see potential for you to speak like us. I see potential for you to take on a certain personality like us. Right. Right? That's what she meant. So is it something, you know, about whiteness? I'm, I'm, you know, exploring and navigating this thing, you know, is it possible mm -hmm. to be white and Christian, even if we accept the fact that, as I often say, just because you happen to look like a white American right. doesn't mean you have to act like one. That's right. That's so right. that is it possible yeah. to uh, be both white and Christian uh, in that sense of whiteness yeah. as you've explained it, or is that an anathema? Uh, yeah, I think that whiteness as a structure, as a power structure, and as an understanding of oneself has to be cast off. Mm -hmm. And I think that's possible. Yeah. I think as a daily practice, mm -hmm. right? right? Not as a right. one time, like, right. oh, I'm not right. white anymore, right? But as a, as a daily decision, mm -hmm. okay. right? Um, that I am going to do my best to not participate mm -hmm. in whiteness. Um, I think that's possible mm -hmm. to be Christian and do that. <laughs> no, no, good. It, it reminds me of uh, uh, one uh, feminist and uh, who's uh, obviously a white feminist once said that the most that white people can ever uh, be, and, and I think it's a good thing, mm -hmm. are recovering racists. So I that every day agree. they have to uh, be very self-aware right. of the ways in which they are or are not choosing to uh, live That's in right. to That's this right. reality of whiteness. I think it requires a certain level of vigilance. 